Hello, I'm Noel, this is Antonio from Boxtail Soup Theatre Company and uh, this is kind of the second part of our three-parter in a kind of countdown to Edinburgh. Um, so we're talking today about the puppets and costumes for Gulliver. So you can see we've got a few, a few set here on the table and I'm wearing a bit of costume right here. So maybe we should do, let's do the Lilliputians first, if we can get them out of the way let's and then we them can show order. you. Yeah. Oh, okay. In order that they're sitting? No, just oh. in order of the lands. In order of the lands the that they appear. Sits. So Lilliput is first, so the order that they appear. I don't know that we've ever shown you properly their hair. I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This is Skyresh Bolgolan. Gave him a mohawk. This is the Emperor of Lilliput. He's got a nice regal quiff. Mm. And this is... He does look like... He's taller as well. He looks like Yachim Phoenix in Gladiator, the Emperor, <laughs> in that movie. He, that's what he looks just like that to me. This is Rel Dressel, who becomes Gulliver's friend, so he's got his little friendly face. He is wearing a prototype tabard, and they will all be wearing something similar to that. I've got that to do later today. I tried to make them out of fabric, they looked awful, so <laughs> I decided to give up on that one. It's one of the last jobs left to do, really. Yeah, and so they're, I'm going to make them out of paper today and then glue them on. My only concern about that is the fragility of them, but I'm hoping that with enough PVA glue they should be all right. The hair, always uh, I find remarkable how, how tough it gets once it's got a good coating of PVA. Yeah, I mean, it's, it really is surprising, actually, because this is just paper, isn't it? It's just, just really reasonably thick coloured paper and then and covered with the PVA glue. glue. And, uh, yeah. And then you style it and it stays. Yes, so uh, that's my job for today. Uh, I think I'm going to give the Emperor the opposite way around. I think he's going to have maybe a yellow tabard. I haven't quite decided yet, or a yellow band around the top, mm. just to make him distinctive from the others. I've got my egg emblem. And then for Lilliput, I have made... Uh, so we have a moment where Reldrassel as puppet kind of turns into a Reldrassel as human. And so when they do that... Is this going to be in shot? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, it should be. They, yeah. They're going to wear this tabard so I've appliqued on the front of it the egg emblem uh, yeah so that's cool very lovely so that's Lilliput they are very nearly done we've optimized them having used them in rehearsals there are a few bits and bobs that they needed to change you can probably see I think that his feet need recovering because mm. we had to put magnets in mm. to his feet for a moment yeah I mean it's always a it's a difficult balance as we've said before the, the way that we create the shows because we have to make so much of the stuff before we've really started to discover how it will be used. Exactly. Um, there's often changes to be made then, of course, when we've then rehearsed with it and gone, actually, it'd be great if it was able to do this. Or it doesn't like need this. to do this. So or like the doesn't emperor need doesn't this. need to, they, they walk, but the emperor doesn't need to walk. So in yeah. fact, we've braced his legs to yeah. make sure that he doesn't. It's more important swivel. for him, in fact, that he stands solidly. Yeah. So that's what we've done. Then we've got our little Gulliver, who's from, we see in Brobdingnag when Gulliver goes to the land of the giants. So uh, I've given him some hair that's a bit like Noel's hair. Uh, again, I can't remember whether we've spoken about this or not. Noel was a little bit offended that I made it grey. It's yeah. like, it's a cool grey. It was a day of acceptance. Not much of my hair is brown anymore. Yeah, but it's cool. It's cool, it is cool. It's a cool hair. So anyway, so that's, uh, and I've also made him a little costume which matches the, there we go, I don't know if you can see this properly, but, and he's got, the idea with the costume is that it's got this flash of a brighter green on the inside, as if it once was that colour, and after many sea, sea voyages mm. it's faded away. And it's a white again, it's sort of ragged at the back, yeah. to give that sense of, you probably can't see it on his, but you can see it on the little puppet, and it matches, um, to give that sense of wear and tear, that sense that it's had a, a long life before even the show has started. So that's him. And the other thing that, that's worth mentioning is that although, obviously, you're going to Brobdingnag, which is the land of the giants, so effectively it's a similar scale problem to Lilliput, we wanted it to have a different feel. Yes. So we wanted to do a different style of puppet, with a different type of movement, so that you have a, a different feel from one land to another. Especially other. since, rather than with, with this one, we're representing our human Gulliver character in a different scale, mm. whereas in Lilliput, we're just representing the Lilliputians as Lilliputians. As they are, yes. As, as they, they are. are. So they, they needed to be have a different quality. And then, uh, this is just the head, in fact, uh, which we've shown you before, of the king of Laputa, which is the next land he goes to after Brobdingnag. The body is 
a different kind of thing. It's fabric. It like if, if, if I have a photo of it, I'll pop one up at the end. Or yeah. we might leave it as a not as a spoiler surprise. alert. Come on, see the show either online or in Edinburgh. Uh, yeah, so he needs some spray painting done on the top of his head. Yes, these will be metallic colours, um, as will the other headpieces for other characters in Laputa. And again, apologies if we've already shown you him, because I just can't remember what we have and what we haven't. Mm -hmm. But that's the King of Laputa. He's wearing, for Laputa, they've got, the colours are purple and blue. And so the Laputan, the humans who are in uh, playing in Laputa, there's a character called Minodi, and then another character who plays lots of, uh, lots of different Laputans. So purple and blue. The king has a blue body, this fabric body, and then a purple scarf. I love this fabric. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. isn't it? It's such a lovely colour. Mm. So those are that. That's their colours. Um, and in fact, I meant to say while well, we were in Brobdingnag, and I forgot oh, yeah. that I also made these wide shoulder. So these go around like this onto your shoulders and then stick out. This is the boys one, in fact, it doesn't fit me. But they just give us a sense of, when we're playing Giants, me and the other performer, Adam, gives us a sense of slightly wider. Yeah, so even though we've got the small gull of a puppet, we also wanted just to give some sense that the, the human performers were also larger than life. They've got this that kind of stiffener in the shoulder to make them stick out a bit more. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Um, we there's also, also um, there's a, a, another puppet in Laputa, um, who you might have seen on one of the R&D videos. Yes, we haven't got him here with us. The Strolled Brug, yes. So he's a different type of puppet again. And then finally, when we go to the last land that Gulliver visits, which is the home of the Huyenhums, who are the kind of horse uh, creatures, we've got different styles of puppets there again. So we've got the, the Huyenhums, the horses themselves, and then we've got um, these lovely kind of rope puppets for the yahoos, and the yahoos are basically the humans in that land. Um, so we'll try and show you some footage of those, both of those puppets yeah. as well. Uh, the the, the hoon the idea was that they almost look a bit like the sails of the ship, and they're fabric based, and then the yahoos are, are rope because they're based around the sort of idea of that ropey. Yeah. And they start the show by looking just like a pile of fabric or a pile of rope respectively, which is, yeah. which is nice. Even though they're present from the beginning. I think that's it for, oh, there's also the, just very quickly, the costumes for the other two performers. So um, my track of, perform, uh, of of roles, rather, and Adam, the other performer, will be wearing as our base costumes, these, which are similar to Gulliver's in fabric, the idea being that they were on the same ship together, potentially, and then, but with a lot of the text fabric on. Gulliver doesn't wear text fabric, but the rest of us do, because we are part of his story, whereas he is the protagonist and, and has written it down, so we're part of those journal writings, that's the idea behind that. I've put some coffee and tea stain on the fabric just to dial it back a bit, because it's quite bright and vibrant, and again, I wanted it to feel as if they had worn it for a long time, um, and maybe had kind of yeah. been submerged, that's right. not submerged, immersed, immersed whatever. So there we go, that's uh, a sort of a quick overview of uh, some of the puppets and costume for Gulliver. Thanks very much for watching, as ever. Um, if you've got any questions, leave us a comment or send us a message or what have you. Give us a like if you enjoyed it, um, possibly even subscribe. And of course, tickets are still on sale for Gulliver at the Edinburgh Festival. The link is down below. They're still selling. So thank you to everyone who's bought one. If you are going to come to the Fringe, um, do come along and join us. That'd be great.